Satnam Aloha. So we're leaving the Piscean Age of the last 2,000 years and going into the Age of Aquarius. So Neptune rules Pisces. And so one of the shadow qualities of Neptune is sleep, right? Not about this, right? In, in bed at night. This is sleep in the context of being asleep to reality and to your true nature. So Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, this rules awakening. And this is why we're seeing so many people awaken on a massive scale around the world. So remember, too, that Neptune rules the mass media. So we're not going to be seeing all this awakening stuff being celebrated on mainstream news. Right? That's not the agenda of mainstream news. So it's really awakening from the Maya, the illusion. Right? Maya means that which is not. And this parasitic consciousness is trying to control this mass awakening from happening. Right? and lead humanity down this dark road. I talked all about this in my last video, so go check that out. So do you personally feel that you've snapped out of the dream spell yet? And let me know in the comments below. And so why are so many people still asleep? Have you ever wondered that? What's so obvious to you, others just can't see it. You could put fact after fact after fact in front of their face, but still they can't see. So I pray that this video will give some clarity as to why. So in the Piscean Age, we've been in a trance, a trance. And this means that we've been transfixed by the physical world. And so this really sets in from the age, the age of 14 to 21. This is where we become transfixed by the material world, by our bodies, our physical bodies, and our five senses, right? We can't see the greater reality that's already here. It's here now in this existence. But as children, especially the stages from zero to seven, we do have access to these higher realms, but we can't articulate it, right? Because our mind hasn't developed yet. That's the next um, stage for uh, in our childhood development living in an experiencing life mainly through the emotional body at that age zero to seven so this is why i believe there's so much attack and abuse of children on this planet is to really to stop our natural spiritual development right our development as a spiritual adult so these memories, these emotional memories, because they don't come with mental images or anything, they've been repressed, and this is through tra trauma, right? They get repressed. And it's really sad to see with some children, you can see that they've been hijacked and already traumatized by looking at the symmetry of their little faces, right? So if one side is off balance or drooped, right, not in balance, this means they've already been emotionally and spiritually traumatized. Anyway, we're going to come back to this uh, later in the video. So the question on the table here, why are most people still transfixed with the lies and the deception? Why do people not question authority? Why did people turn on anyone who tries to shake them awake or give them the truth, right, as they know it? Why? You know, I watched a really good interview with a 30-year-plus professional hypnotist, right? And Neptune rules uh, hypnosis. And he said he was shocked at what he was seeing out there in the world, right? Because the parasitic consciousness, that's my words, are using all the tools of hypnosis on the masses. He could see it. So two, remember that Pluto's in the shadow of psychosis. This is the 61st gate, right? And the world is seeped in the shadow of psychosis. So I made some notes with this interview and, of course, translated it into my own words and put it into a spiritual context for you. So how can you get humans to do what you want, even if it goes against their best interests? Like how, how does this all happen? Well, you create chaos and confusion. And you know, in emergencies or dangerous situations, 
what are you what are you supposed to do when you really care about people? Well, you keep people calm, right? Well, that's the opposite of what's been happening because that's not the agenda, right? The agenda is something else. So let's go through the list here. So building up fear and anxiety, right? So this is about getting people in high emotional states of fear, anxiety, and panic. Or anger, right? Blaming others for the problem. Sadness, depression, despair. And it's imperative to keep people in these emotional states. So we'll talk about how that keeps going, even if the person is away from the TV and the internet news, right, later in the video. Okay, well, ha what happens next? Number two, well, this is the emotional body in turbulence. So in, sense, in a sense, these high voltage emotions, they override the mind. They shut down the mind, right? The frontal lobe gets shut down and the reptilian brain takes over. This is the animal part of our brain, right? It's completely focused on survival. This gets activated. So the mind overall, right, goes into a state of chaos and confusion. And it goes a bit insane as a result, right? And have you even noticed that personally, right? When you're emotionally upset about something, right? And it's been a, a shock. Maybe you get in a car accident or something like that. Well, you can't think straight right? Because these emotions overwhelm the mind. Okay, number three, what happens here? Perception of reality gets shattered. So you're now seeing the world through the emotional lens. So if you're in fear, then the world becomes a place filled with danger, right? That's all you see is danger, danger, danger. That person coming towards you is a threat. There are threats everywhere, even invisible threats keep you in a high state of alert. You can't see reality clearly, right? It's been shattered. So it's like if you're afraid of snakes and someone says, oh, there's snakes in this area. Well, that's planted in your mind and this distorts your perception, right? So that piece of rope in the corner becomes a snake, right? That's what you actually see, but it's not true. But this is the emotional charge of fear that changes your perception, right? So number four, the mind, right? The mind goes into a state of seeking because its perception has been shattered. So it wants order back again, right? The mind wants order and makes sense of things. So it goes into a state of seeking, desperately seeking something to get rid of this chaos and confusion. And remember that the mind projects outward. So it's going to look for something outside of itself for relief. And this is how addictions work too, right? Okay, number five. This is when, you know, oh, we have the solution, right? Offering up suggestions because the mind is prime. It's prime, fertile for, sugge for suggestions coming from the external. Right, I'll take you out of the confusion. You just need to do this and take this and don't do this, right? And the mind becomes completely open to these suggestions. It becomes suggestible. So this is really like throwing a rope to a drowning person. All that drowning person sees is the rope. Doesn't see the person holding on to the rope. Doesn't see what's in that boat and what's coming after the rope in the boat, right? Because the vision becomes completely limited and myopic. All it sees is the rope. So this is what we're seeing out in the world right now. Okay, so well, so, well, how do they keep it going, right? How do they keep it going? Well, there's outside triggers too. And that puts a person into fear, right? And keeps the person going with these suggestions. Your intuition is completely shut down at this point. Connection to the divine is cut off, right? The external world is now your authority, right? You're in, you're completely transfixed. So outside triggers can be the signs that we see everywhere, right? All those signs, they provoke your emotions. They provoke those fears, right? Wearing the mask even is a ritual now. Right? As you put on the mask, 
right? You're unaware, right? This is a ritual and it medi immediately changes your perception. It changes how you see the world. That's what ritual is for. The other thing is you can't breathe properly, right? Sporadic breath puts you in the mind. And watch people who think a lot, right? Or they're identified with their minds. They don't breathe properly, right? They're in a panic breath, right? That keeps you in that state of fear. In proper deep breathing, yogic breath brings you into the present moment, brings you into your body, right? It's the breath of life, prana, pranayama connects you to the spirit, connects you to the divine, connects you to your intuition, connects you to the truth. And also warning announcements. This probably takes place more in the cities. You know, please stand six feet apart, right? It's futuristic sounding, like in the sci-fi movies. This is all purposely placed in the subconscious mind, right? That we watched in the theaters. Right? All that um, predictive programming, it's called. And also, uh, more triggers are seeing other people with the masks on. All those external triggers keep a person who is asleep in a perpetual state of fear. Right? And the mind is completely open to any and all suggestions. Right? Even if it makes no sense or takes away your divine right as a human being. So the mind is also open to the suggestion that it's other people, it's this group of people, they're causing you to feel this fear. They're the problem, right? Also plant it as a suggestion. So you can become very vulnerable to outside influences when you're in the state of uh, panic, anxiety, and fear. And even everyday mundane things can become a trigger, right? That will trigger this fear. Don't hug. You'll save lives. Stay home. We're in this together. This kind of repetition goes deeply into the subconscious mind until people are policing themselves. So, and they can also see anyone who doesn't obey will be seen as a threat by the programmed people, the people already programmed, right? They're not following the script. Therefore, they are a threat, right? So become aware of the media that you're consuming, right? Listen for the music and the sounds underneath the messages. This also manipulates our emotional state and our perception. Look at the use of colors that they use, like reds and yellows, right? Things that trigger emotional responses. Even colors can do that, right? This is all intentional. Okay, you say, well, okay, what can I do with this information then? Well, let's rewind and we'll go back to the formula. Create chaos and confusion. Build fear and anxiety. Well, this is usually done through images and sounds. Right? So these are simply images on the screen of life. Right? It's you that reacts to them or not. And remember, a lot of people, like the Aquarian Age, is all about your own direct experience, right? You don't take something in that you're, that, um, you're watching on television or seeing on, on a computer screen or your phone as your truth, because it's not your direct experience. Even with me listening to me, take it to your direct experience. Filter it through your own truth media, your own intuition, Right? So they're manipulating through images on the screen, right? So these are just images on the screen of life. It's you that chooses to react to them or not. So if you're in your mind and your emotions, not your heart, not in your body, you're going to react, right? So you need to remember that you're an eternal soul having a brief human experience here on this planet. You're a tourist, Right? You're not here to you're not here forever. So these things can't touch you, right? These images on the screen of life. You know, say you what you go to a movie, the Titanic. Remember the Titanic? Jack and Rose, right? At the end of the at the end. You know, Jack's in the water. Well, do you get soaked with cold water? Are you all freezing in the theater? No, because it's a movie. It can't touch you. Right? The real you, the eternal soul. 
So you really maintain this awareness because it's all about keeping your frequency high and your awareness expanded and self-reference, not, not outer reference. Self-reference, that means staying inside. So it's about committing to staying your center, the core of your being, right? So you can witness in a detached way, right? Because you're not in your mind thinking, right? You're breathing long and deep. You're fully here. You're fully present in this present moment. And you're in your solar plexus, right? You're in your felt perception. This is our new awareness system. So have your direct experience start navigating life in this way through felt perception through feeling this is the new center for the aquarian age okay so notice what feelings are coming up for you okay fear is coming up it's real right it's real then fear is coming up let it be right feel the fear let it have a space and then breathe right breathe and then it will move so this fear is not coming from those images that you're seeing. That's impossible, right? Not from what you're being told, the stories you're being told. The fears aren't coming from that, that either, right? Those images, those stories are triggering the fear that's already inside you. And your imagination triggers the fear inside you, you know, when you let your mind go with the horror stories, this can also trigger the fear that's already inside you. And the fear is coming from those first seven years, right? So this kind of brainwashing on a mass scale doesn't work without traumatized children. It just won't work without traumatized children. So that fear is on integrated emotions from the past, and that's why I feel there's so much child abuse on this planet. You know, we're basically living on a planet of traumatized children in adult bodies. And this is the full spectrum of trauma. So as the truth comes out more and more in the Aquarian age, we're going to see that the real pandemic is child abuse, right? So that fear has nothing to do with the present, that you're feeling. It's all about the past. Remember, our natural emotional state is joy. It's pure emotion. Okay, you may say, well, well, what if a bus is coming at me and I'm feeling fear? Then yes, like have some common sense, right? Like, yes, you're in danger, right? But if it's not your direct experience, then it's coming from the past, right? Your direct experience in the present now moment. So allow it to be there. Right? Just allow it to be there. Give it permission. Like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to run away from the fear. I'm not going to eat it away or smoke it away or drink it away. I'm just going to allow it to be and feel it. And it will move with a little boohoo on your part or maybe a big, messy boohoo on your part. But it will move because it wants to move. Right? It's, it's an illusion. It's an keeps you in an illusionary state. It keeps you a ghost as a ghost, right? And it's uh, the age of Aquarius is all about being authentic. And that means letting go of the past. So when you do this work, you don't get locked into the reptilian brain, your animal brain, and your perception doesn't get shattered, right? It remains clear, intact, so that you can see the patterns, right? You can see where this is all leading. Right, You've got a big, long-term view of, oh, this is where this is going. Right, You see beyond the rope and the boat and the bigger ship and this and that. Right, You can see the whole picture. Right, So you can see the truth when your emotional body is clear. And so the mind may go into chaos for you, but you're not your mind as you stay in the center where it remains calm, where it's always calm. There's always a calmness in the center of chaos, right? This is all happening after you do your emotional shadow work. You know, as you start to really commit to this process, that sense of peace and calmness expands, right? So this way your mind's not suggestible, right? Your mind is alert and it serves you. Right? It's not the master of you. You're the master of your own mind. 
So just for fun, right, when you feel centered, maybe after watching this video, or you really feel in your body, make sure that you're, you're alert and centered in your body, go to a popular news site, right? And remain in your feelings and pray before I right, sit in your tent to see the truth and take note Right as you're on that site, like what feelings are coming up for me right now? As you read through the headlines, as you watch their videos, it's gonna be very interesting. So the best thing again is to purify your emotional body. Right, you can do this through inner child work, so you don't fall for this programming. Right, but it can be all found in my six-week deprogramming. Right, healing the inner child. And also, just to let you know, I'm presenting a Chiron and uh, Inner Child webinar series over six hours, and that's going to be live, and that starts August 1st and the 7th, August 7th. So a few things on Chiron. Chiron is a visitor to our solar system. It was discovered in 1977. This was really the launch of the spiritual kind of New Age movement, right, with Chiron. And it's said to Chiron will leave our solar system when the Aquarian age sets in. So Chiron orbits between Uranus and Saturn. So it's a bridge. It's assisting us. It's helping us. It's a portal through the past, moving from the past, which is Saturn, to the future, which is Uranus. And Uranus is our awakening. So very important planetary body right now and it gives you a lot of personal information deep information about your emotional work your personal unique emotional work in this lifetime and this is where the poison becomes the medicine and it also gives you information about your soul purpose right how you how you are here to help others transition over right once you do this work so check it out bring your chart and we'll meditate together and have a chance to connect with one another in breakout rooms. And we'll, then we'll send out this healing energy to the planet. It's going to be a lot of fun, right? I'm still in the creation stage with it. So click the link below to register and also click the link to start your inner child work, purifying your emotional body. And the emotional body is the inner child. And also I'm going to be creating a break, the Piscean trance meditation it's a powerful kundalini yoga meditation to break out of this trance okay so all you have to do is sign up for my newsletter and you'll receive it for free sometime next week okay so you can follow me on instagram facebook telegram bitchu miwi and enjoy your life and be well we're making history as we speak you know, they'll be creating statues for us. It's like, how did you guys do it in the Byzantine age and move through that dark age? How did you do it, right, in the future? So stay strong and lean on Big G. That's supporting you minute by minute, moment by moment. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Satnam Aloha.